Hi guys, today on PS Educate Me, we are going to read The Listening Walk, written by David Kirk. Hugging all her children in, Miss Spider dimmed the light. She listened to the summer sounds, the soothing songs of night. The children dreamt of honey drops and gleaming streams of dew, of soaring to the soft white clouds, of drifting gently through. Eight buggy babies safe in bed, with seven fast asleep. But little Wiggle lay awake, too terrified to peep. Hoots and toots and tweets and twitters swirled around his head. Surrounded by those soft, sweet sounds, he heard these things instead. The creaking bones of creeping beasts that proud the twisted trees, the shrieks and moans of buggies begging bent upon their knees. Wiggle hid beneath his sheets, his eyes were bugging wide, gnawing, gnashing, monster teeth clacked greedily outside. I would be scared too. Would you be scared? Racing to his parents' room, he dove into their bed. Miss Spider sat up with a start. What now? His father said. Just listen, Wiggle whispered, and you'll hear the monsters too. They're lurking in the trees out there. May I squeeze in with you? Oh, he's scared, so he ran to his parents. It's bugaboos, Miss Spider said. Your mom knows that just the cure. A listening walk is all you need, a nighttime horse tour. So out into the lively night, she led her frightened son to place a face to every sound that spooked the little one. So they went to confront the fear. Poor Wiggle jumped and jittered when he heard a clack, clack, clack. But it was only Eunice Earwig crunching down a snack. Well, that one's not so bad, he said. But I heard other sounds. I'm sure were fearsome monster beasties prowling on their rounds. Just up ahead, a creaking, creaking rocked a tiny tree. Miss Spider pulled her wiggle very close so he could see. She said, it's not a monster, dear. Spindella is our friend. I'm sure the monsters, Wiggle sniffed, are slithering around the bend. Then overhead, a whooshing made poor Wiggle jump and squeal. They're swooping down to get me. I don't want to be a meal. But it was only Lou Luna looping through the sky. I guess he's not so scary, Wiggle sniffled with a sigh. It's funny, Wiggle giggled. Night's not spooky like I thought, with monsters hiding everywhere, because now I see they're not. I don't believe in monsters. Now there's nothing more to dread. I'm absolutely sure my nighttime bugaboos have fled. He smiled up at his mother, then gazed into the air. Imagining the beasties that he knew were never there. A thousand fluorescent eyes were blinking from the trees. I do believe in monsters, Wiggle croaked. Then 
They're only fireflies, laughed his mom. We've come along this way to get our chance to see them dance the firefly ballet. They sat together on a leaf, the forest all aglow, and watched the swirling magic of the brilliant midnight show. The night is pretty, Wiggle yawned, and quite a lot of fun. But still, I'm glad we get to live and play out in the sun. They climbed into the cozy hole, and Wiggle fell in bed. The melodies of evening made a pillow for his head. And in another moment, he had drifted into sleep swimming gently through the music of the friendly forest deep. The end. Make sure to like and subscribe and come back again to see another video. Bye.